Hey guys, I'm T, and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, I make trendy and fun crochet tutorials twice a week, and if you haven't already, smash that like button, drop a comment below, and subscribe to join in on the fun. Here you're looking at a lovely new textured sweater with a twist, or should I say weave. It's been a while since I posted anything with a basket weave on the channel, but I thought it'd be a perfect pair with the extended half double for a type of new textured sweater. I also paired it with some balloon sleeves, which I'm loving at the moment. This time I made the sleeves larger than I usually prefer, but I thought it gave this great regal effect that I'm feeling. If you're a fan of this regal look, be sure to let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Now I've got a bunch of new ideas to work on, so enjoy the show. Without further ado, for this project, any category for our yarn will work by use a total of 600 grams of yarn, and that's 1100 yards if you're stateside. As your tools, a 4 and a 5.5 millimeter hook, scissors, stitch markers, and a tape measure. There is a written pattern down below. Use offer code TCD DIY for a discount off any $9.99 plus order. Watch the end of the video to learn how to enter this week's giveaway. We're using three stitches for this project, and they'll be as follows. Chain. Slip stitch. Single crochet. and extended half double crochet or modified double crochet. This tutorial is for a size small, but you can adjust it for your size and we explain how to in the video, so let's get started. Getting the sweater started, we're first gonna grab our category four yarn and make a slip knot. Next, we're gonna grab our four millimeter hook and start off by making a chain the height that we want our collar to be. I want mine to be about an inch or two centimeters, so I'm going to make a chain of five. Now that I have my chain, I'm going to block off my last chain to a chain up of three. This counts as our turning chain, and we're going to prepare for a double crochet, which is a yarn over. We're going to insert our hook into that chain that we blocked off, or the fourth chain from our hook. You're going to insert your hook, yarn over, pull through one, we should have three loops on our hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. That's our first double crochet, so let's do one more together. We're going to yarn over, insert your hook into that next chain, pull through. You're going to yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Put one double crochet into every chain. Now that we have our double crochet row, we're going to chain one, flip our work, and do a row of back loop slip stitches. So instead of inserting our hook in through both loops like usual, we're going to insert our hook into that next available stitches back loop or the loop that's furthest away from you. We're going to yarn over and pull through both loops on our hook. That's our first back loop slip stitch. Let's do another. So insert your hook into that next back loop, yarn over, and pull through everything. Put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. Now that I have my back loop slip stitches done, we're gonna go back to a double crochet row. So chain three, flip our work. Now we're gonna be alternating between a back loop double crochet row and a back loop slip stitch row. So yarn over, Insert your hook into that first back loop, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Put one back loop double crochet into every stitch. When we reach the end of our row, do a chain up of one, flip your work, and put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. And alternate between those two rows until this can stretch around our head, and I'll meet you back after a double crochet row. So I have the length of my entire collar finished. I have a total of 19 and a half inches, that's 49 centimeters, or a total of 53 rows, and that is unstretched. So now we're going to seam our collar together. We're going to need to make sure that we are flipping it the correct way because we're going to do an outside loop slip stitch seam to match our back loop slip stitch rows. So as you can see, our ribbing is faced up. I'm going to take the other end of my work and then tuck it underneath so that our ribbing is still facing outwards. 
Once we have that, we're going to insert our hook into the corner stitch, into the back panel, yarn over, pull through everything, flip our work. Now let's do our first outside loop slip stitch seam together. So into the next available stitch, into the front panel, we're going to insert our hook only in through that front loop. Now that we have that into the back panel, we're going to insert our hook only in through that back loop. Then we're going to yarn over, pull through everything on our hook. Let's do this again. Into that next stitch, into the front panel, insert into that front loop. Next little stitch into the back panel, insert into that back loop. Yarn over, pull through everything. Let's do this one more time. Next stitch into the front panel, insert into that front loop. Next stitch into the back panel, insert into the back loop. Slip stitch it together. Keep doing this until we don't have any more stitches left, and I'm actually all done. So I'm now going to switch out to my five and a half millimeter hook. All right, I have inserted my five and a half millimeter hook, and now we're going to single crochet along the bottom. So now that we're done with our seam, we're going to chain one, and we're going to put two single crochets into every side double, and one single crochet into every side slip stitch row. So let's do this together. Into this first available stitch right here, this is our side double crochet row. So we're going to insert with one single crochet, and then insert into that same side stitch with another single crochet. This is my next side slip stitch row, so find that top stitch and single crochet. Let's do this again. This is my next side row, which is a side double crochet. So insert with one and then two. This is my side slip stitch row, so insert with one. And we're going to keep doing that all the way around. Slip stitch into that chain of the one space, and then I'll meet you back. We've single crocheted around our collar and done a chain up one cut. We're now going to separate our front and our back panel. So I have a total of 80 stitches all the way around. For my tail end, I'm going to insert my stitch markers into the two stitches on either side. I'm going to count halfway and then insert my stitch markers into the middle stitches. So for me, on one end, I have 40 stitches. And then on the other end, I have another 40 stitches. And now to section off our basket weave stitch detail, we're going to find the two middle stitches along our front panel. My stitch markers are into my 20th and 21st stitch, and then on either side of those, we're going to count seven stitches. So I'm counting this stitch that my stitch marker's in. So I'm going to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Insert my first stitch marker, and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So counting from this stitch marker, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. I can take out my two middle stitch markers now. And so far, we should have 14 stitches in between our two stitch markers. Now this section is about three and a half inches or nine centimeters wide. If you want yours wider, add two stitches to both ends until you get the size that you want, and then I'll meet you back. Getting started on our basket weave section, we're going to insert our five and a half millimeter hook into the stitch that our stitch marker is in. We can take this out, insert our yarn onto our hook, pull through, and do a chain up of three. This counts as our first double crochet, and we're going to put one double crochet into every stitch until we reach our next stitch marker. I've put one double crochet into every stitch until I reach my next stitch marker. And counting that first chain above three, I have a total of 14 stitches. Now we're gonna get started on our basket weave section. So do a chain up of three and flip our work. Now we're going to alternate between sets of four front post double crochets and four back post double crochets. So let's get that started. We're going to yarn over and we're gonna start with our first front post double crochet. Into that second double crochet that we have into our previous row, not counting this one, we're going to insert our hook behind this next double crochet post. So we're going to insert our hook underneath the body of our second double crochet, just like that, yarn over, pull through. And from here, we're going to double crochet per usual, so yarn over, 
pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. We're going to be doing three more of those, so a total of four. So let's do the next one. Yarn over, insert your hook into that next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, into that next, pull through, pull through two, pull through two, and we have one more to do. So yarn over, insert, and pull through. Pull through two, pull through two. Now we have our four front post double crochets done. Now we're going to do four back post double crochets. So we're going to yarn over and we're going to bring our hook behind our work and then bring it over this next double crochet post from our previous row. So bring our hook behind our work, bring it through this gap. And over this next available double crochet and through the other gap. Yarn over, pull through, and double crochet per usual. So yarn over, pull through two, pull through two. Let's do three more, so a total of four. Yarn over, bring our hook behind our work, over that next available double crochet, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Pull through two, yarn over, bring our hook behind our work, over that next double crochet, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, and then one more because we already have three. Yarn over, bring your hook behind our work, over that next double crochet, pull through, pull through two, pull through two, and now. We're going to do another set of four front post double crochets. So yarn over, insert your hook into that next double crochet, pull through, pull through two, pull through two. And let's just do one more and let you guys do the rest of your row on your own. So insert your hook, pull through, pull through two, pull through two. Now alternate between four front post double crochets and four back post double crochets until you reach the rest of your row. I have my basket weave section all done and before we can get started on our row number three, we're going to do a half double crochet into the last stitch from our previous row to make sure that this section is closed off. So we're going to yarn over, insert your hook into that last stitch from our previous row, pull through. We should have three loops on our hook, so yarn over and pull through three. Now to get started on row number three, we're going to chain three and flip our work. Now our row number three is going to be a copy of our row number two. So looking at our first four stitches, they all look like back post double crochets. So we're going to do four back post double crochets just to extend it. So just to do the first one, yarn over, insert your hook behind, the first double crochet from our previous row, bring it over, pull through, pull through two, pull through two, and let's do one more, yarn over, bring our hook behind our work, and over that next double crochet, pull through, pull through two, and pull through two. So I'll be doing four back post double crochets because that's what this calls for, and the next is four front post double crochets. So I'll do that, and we'll alternate between those two sets until we reach the end of our row so we can close it off together. We've made our way to the end of our row number three, and we're going to close it off by half double crocheting into the last stitch from our previous row. So yarn over once, insert your hook into that next stitch, pull through, pull through three, do a chain up of three, flip our work, and let's get started on our row number four. Starting on our row number four, we're going to do the opposite of what we had from our previous row. So since this looks like it starts off with four front post double crochets, we're going to do four back post double crochets. So let's get that started. Yarn over, insert your hook behind that first double crochet, pull through, pull through two, pull through two, yarn over, over that next double crochet, pull through, pull through two, Pull through two. 
and do our sets of four back post double crochets and four front post double crochets till we reach the end of our row. I've made it to the end of my row number four and we're going to close off this row together with a half double crochet. So yarn over, insert your hook into that last stitch with a half double crochet, do a chain up of three and flip our work. And for our row number five or our wide number row, we're going to do the same thing that we have from a previous row, so trying to extend it. So since this looks like four front post double crochets, we're going to do four front post double crochets. And we're going to do the same thing for the back post double crochets, do back post for those, and I'll meet you back at the end of this row. So we have made our way down to the end of our row number five, and from here we're going to repeat rows two through five. So for every even number row, it's going to be the opposite stitch from our previous row, and every odd number row will be the same as our previous row to extend it, just like how we did. We're going to repeat these rows until we get the length of the sweater that we want, so go ahead and get that done. And if you guys do need a refresher, I will have timestamps in the description, or leave a comment down below and I'll help you guys out as soon as I can. I have made my way all the way down to my 28th row, and that's 15 inches or 38 centimeters, and I now have the length of my sweater. So from here, we're gonna work on our side panel. We're gonna do a chain up of one, flip our work, and start this side off by putting two single crochets into every side double crochet row. So, just getting the first C started, this is my first side double crochet row right here. I'm gonna insert my hook into there with one, and then with two single crochets. This is my next side double crochet. So here's one, and here's two. And keep putting two single crochets into every side double crochet row until we reach the collar. We've put two single crochets into every side double crochet row, and now we're going to attach it into the base. So into that next available stitch that we have into the base, we're going to slip stitch to close off this row. And when we have that, we're going to slip stitch up the next two stitches to work our way up to the next row, which is an extended half double crochet or a modified double crochet. I'll show you guys how to do that right now. So now that we have slip stitched into those next two stitches, flip our work and we're going to yarn over. We're gonna insert our hook into that first available back loop. So the last single crochet from our last row, yarn over, pull through. We should have three loops on our hook. We're going to yarn over and just pull through that first loop should have three loops on our hook, and then we're gonna yarn over and then pull through all three. There's our first. And into the stitch that's nearest to our base, we're actually going to be doing an increase. So let's do one more into that same stitch. Yarn over, insert your hook, into that first back loop, yarn over, and pull through. Yarn over and pull through only through that first loop. Three loops on our hook, yarn over, and pull through all three. And then we're gonna put one extended half double crochet into every back loop all the way down. So let's do the next few together as well. We're going to yarn over, insert your hook into that first back loop, yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through that first loop, three loops on our hook, yarn over and pull through three. Let's do just one more. Yarn over, insert into that next back loop, pull through, Yarn over and pull through one. Yarn over and pull through three. And put one into every stitch, making our way all the way down. Now that we've made our way down to the end of this row, we're going to do a chain up of one, flip our work, and then put one back loop single crochet into every stitch, and slip stitch it into the base the same way that we just did, so no increases into our back loop single crochet rows. Slip stitch into the next two stitches, then do an increase of two extended half double crochets, and then put one extended half double crochet into every back loop, making our way all the way down. We're going to repeat these two rows all the way until we reach our shoulder stitch marker, and then I'll meet you back. All right, so I have done my back loop single crochet rows and back loop extended half double crochet rows all the way until I reached my stitch marker, and now we're going to work on our shoulder portion. So it's gonna be more back loop single crochet rows and more back loop extended half double crochet rows until we get the shoulder portion that we want. And we are gonna meet each other back along the bottom so that we can work our underarm together. But I will give you guys a tip that this is going to be where the width of our work comes into. So if you guys want yours a little bit slouchier, a little bit wider, go ahead and keep adding rows until you guys get the size that you like. 
So since I ended along the top, my last row was a back loop single crochet row. So from here, I'm going to do a chain up of two, flip my work, and put one extended back loop half double crochet into every stitch. When you reach the bottom, do a chain up of one, flip your work, and then one back loop single crochet into every stitch. I'll meet you guys back once when I have my shoulder portion finished. All right, so I have just finished my shoulder portion. I have a total of 16 rows now, and from here, we're going to do our underarm portion. So we should have all ended along the bottom. So from here, we're going to put this up to ourselves and insert our stitch marker into the stitch that's nearest to our underarm. And I have inserted mine into the 25th stitch from the top. And this is about seven and a half inches or 19 centimeters. And from here, the next row in my sequence is a back loop single crochet row. I'm going to put one back loop single crochet into every stitch until I am two stitches right before my stitch marker. Alrighty, we put one back loop single crochet into every stitch until we have two stitches right before our stitch marker. So we're going to do a decrease of two back loop single crochets. So insert your hook into that second to last back loop, yarn over, pull through, and also into that last back loop, yarn over, pull through. We're going to yarn over and pull through all three loops, and that's how we do our decrease. We're going to do a chain up of two, flip our work, and start off by doing a decrease of two extended back loop half double crochets. It's a mouthful to say. So from here, we're going to yarn over, insert your hook into that first back loop, pull through. Into that next back loop, pull through. We should have four loops on our hook. We're going to yarn over, pull through two. Should have three loops on our hook, yarn over, and pull through three. We're going to continue to put one extended back loop half double crochet into every stitch, making our way down. And we are going to repeat our two rows of back loop single crochets and back loop extended half double crochets with a decrease along the top of every row until we get an underarm portion that we like. Once we have that, do a chain up of one, cut, and then I will meet you guys back to show you guys where to insert your hook for the other side. All right, so I am back and I've just finished my underarm portion. Mine is super small, so I have a total of 18 rows on this side. And we're going to do the same exact thing that we did here on the other side. All we're going to do is insert our hook into the bottom corner and then repeat. I'll meet you guys back once we have this other side all finished up. My entire front panel is finished and I'm ready to get started on my back panel. Along the back of our collar, we're going to insert our stitch marker into our two middle stitches. So if you guys have my numbers, mine's into my 20th and 21st stitch. I'm going to take my 55 millimeter hook and insert it into one of my stitch marker stitches. I'm going to start off by making a chain that's the same amount of stitches that we have for our first row when we started our side panel. So if you guys have my numbers, I have a total of 56 stitches. So I'm going to make a chain of 56. I'm going to insert my yarn onto my hook, pull through. And make my chain. Now that I have my chain, I'm going to do a chain of one. This counts as my turning chain. And then into that chain that we blocked off, or the second chain from my hook, I'm going to insert with a single crochet. So insert, pull through, pull through two. Insert your hook into that next loop, pull through, pull through two. And keep doing this all the way down. And now that I've single crocheted my way all the way up, I'm now going to slip stitch it into the base and start off our next row with you guys, which is our back loop extended half double crochet row. So into this next stitch, we're going to slip stitch into there to close off our single crochet row. And then into the next two stitches, put one slip stitch into each, flip our work, and then put one back loop extended half double crochet into every stitch. And I'm going to alternate between a back loop single crochet and back loop extended half double crochet row for five rows. And that's no increases and no decreases. We're doing that because we didn't increase for our basket weave section. And if you guys actually had a bigger basket weave section, just add more rows until you have the same amount of stitches as your section. So go ahead and get that done and I'll meet you back. Okay, so I have my five rows all finished. From here, I'm going to do the same side panel. So increase into every extended half double crochet row until we reach our shoulder stitch marker. Then I'll meet you back just to remind you guys how we're going to do the shoulder and the underarm portion. So I've made my way all the way over to my stitch marker where my shoulder is. And from here, we are going to do a repeat of our shoulder portion and our underarm portion. So go ahead and get all of that done. And then I'll meet you back to show you where to insert your hook for the other side of our back panel. 
We've just finished one side of our back panel and we're going to do the same thing that we did here on this side. I'm just going to show you guys where we're going to insert our hook for this first row and then we'll move on from there. So we're going to start by inserting our hook into this bottom corner stitch. Insert your yarn onto your hook. Pull through to a chain up of one. And from here we're going to put one back loop single crochet into every stitch. So let's just do the first one. So into that first back loop, insert your hook, pull through, pull through two, and make your way down, putting one back loop single crochet into every stitch. All right, so we have just done our first row of back loop single crochets all the way up, and now we're going to slip stitch it into the base. But since we're working on our second back panel, just for this first row, we're going to skip that next available stitch, because if we don't, we're going to have one extra stitch on this side. So, Skipping this first stitch that we have, insert your hook into that next, yarn over, pull through everything, and then from here do the same thing that we did on this side. So do your rows of back loops and crochet and back loop extended half double crochets for the same amount of rows that we have here. I had five. Increase into your extended half double crochet rows, and then do your shoulder and then your underarm portion. And then I'll meet you guys back when the entirety of our back panel is finished. We have just finished the entirety of our back panel and now we're ready to seam our sides. The first thing we're going to want to do is flip our work inside out. And the way that you can tell that it's inside out is looking at the collar right here. If you can see right here, we have an indent. This is the inside of our collar. If we flip it over, you can see that the rib is sticking up right here. So we're going to flip that over. We're going to start by inserting our hook into the corner stitch into both the front and the back panel. So insert, grab your front panel, grab your back panel, insert, insert your yarn onto your hook, and pull through everything. From here, do a chain up of one to secure, and then we're going to single crochet our front and back panel together. So inserting our hook into the next available stitch, we're going to insert our hook, into that stitch, into the front panel, and also into that same stitch that we have along the back panel, and then single crochet. Let's do one more together. Into the next available stitch into the front panel, insert your hook, and then the next stitch into the back panel, insert your hook, and single crochet. We're going to single crochet all the way up until we don't have any more stitches left, and then do a chain up of one and cut. We finished seaming our side and now we're going to seam our shoulder. We're first going to insert our hook into the stitch, into the collar that our front panel and our back panel is coming out of so that we don't have any gaps. We're going to insert our yarn onto our hook, pull through, do a chain up of one. And from here we're going to be putting two single crochets into every side extended half double crochet row, then one single crochet into every side single crochet row, combining our front and back panel. So let's get that started. This is my first side row, which is my side extended half double crochet row. Into the front panel, I'm going to insert my hook into there. Into my back panel, I'm going to find that same side loop, insert my hook into there with one single crochet, and then one more into the same loop. So since our hook is already in, it's a little bit easier, just insert your hook in through both, and single crochet. We have two single crochets into here, and now one single crochet into our side single crochet row. So into our front panel, insert your hook, into your back panel, insert your hook with one single crochet, and alternate between two single crochets and one single crochet all the way down. We don't have any more stitches left, do a chain up one and cut, and then seam the other side. Now that we have finished seaming our sides and our shoulder, we're now going to work on our sleeve. We're going to start by inserting our hook into the stitch that's nearest to our side seam, and into every side extended half double crochet row, we're going to insert with two single crochets. So we're going to pull through, do a chain up of one to secure. My first side row that I have is right here, and it is a side extended half double crochet. So I'm going to insert with one single crochet, and then into that same side stitch, a second single crochet, and then my next row is a single crochet row, so I'm going to insert with one single crochet. Keep repeating that until we don't have any more underarm rows left. Put one single crochet into every stitch, making our way all the way around. 
When we get to the last stitch that's right next to our shoulder seam, be sure to insert our stitch marker into the stitch that we have on either side of our shoulder seam so that we know where to stop our increases and start our decreases. And then I will meet you guys back so that we can get started on the length of our sleeve. Now that we have single crocheted all the way around, we're now going to make a chain the length that we want our sleeve to be. And I want mine to be about 17 and a half inches or 44 centimeters. So that's going to be a chain of 65. And now that we have our chain, we're going to block off that last chain and do a chain of a one. Into that chain that we blocked off by the second chain from our hook, insert with a single crochet. Let's do one more. Insert your hook into that next chain and single crochet. Put one single crochet into every chain and we're going to increase into the last together. We put one single crochet into every chain, leaving that last one, and now we're going to increase together. So we're going to insert our hook into that last chain with one single crochet, and then into that same last chain with a second single crochet. And now we're going to slip stitch it into the base. So into the next available stitch that we have, we're going to slip stitch into there to close off this row. And then to work our way up to the next row, which is an extended half double crochet row, we're going to slip stitch up the next two stitches. So there's one, there we go, there's two, and flip our work. We're going to start off by doing another increase, but this is going to be an extended half double crochet increase. So we're going to yarn over, insert your hook into that first back loop, pull through, yarn over, pull through one, pull through three, and then one more extended half double crochet into that same stitch. So yarn over, insert, pull through, pull through one, and pull through three. And put one extended half double crochet into every stitch. When you reach the end, do a chain up of one, flip your work, and put one back loop single crochet into every stitch, increasing into the last stitch and connecting it into the base the same way that we just did. And we're going to keep alternating between those two rows all the way up until we hit our shoulder stitch marker, and then I'll meet you back. We have worked our way all the way up to our first stitch marker, and now we're going to do the same thing that we did here, but instead of increases, we're going to do decreases. So we're going to do the next row that's in our sequence. I ended on a single crochet row, so I'm going to get started with my extended back loop half double crochet row, but starting with a decrease since I'm by the base. So I'm going to take out my stitch markers because I already know what the halfway point is. And I'm going to slip stitch into the next two available stitches. So here's one, here's two, and I'm going to flip my work and we're going to decrease. From here we're going to yarn over, insert our hook into that first available back loop, pull through into that next back loop, pull through, we should have four loops on our hook, so we're going to yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through three, and that is how we decrease. We're going to put one back loop extended half double crochet into every stitch. When we reach the end, do a chain up of one, flip your work, and leave two stitches because we're going to do a single crochet decrease, and then I'll let you guys do the rest from there. Alright, so I have made my back loop single crochets all the way up. And I have left two stitches right before our base that we can decrease. So insert your hook into that second to last back loop, yarn over, pull through. Into that last back loop, insert, pull through. Should have three loops on our hook, so yarn over and pull through all three. And slip stitch it into the next stitch into the base, just like how we've been doing. And from here, repeat our two previous rows with a decrease of two into the two stitches nearest to our base. And then I'll meet you back when we don't have any more stitches left. I have just finished making my way all the way around with my sleeve, and now we're going to seam our sleeve together. So the first thing we're going to have to do is flip our work inside out, the same that we flipped it for our side and our shoulder seam, and then we can single crochet them together. So what we're first going to do is insert our hook into the corner stitch of each of our panels. We're going to pull through. Do a chain up of one to secure. And now we're going to single crochet both the front and back panel together. So inserting our hook into that next available stitch, into the front panel, 
and into the next available stitch into the back panel, single crochet. Let's do one more. Set next available stitch into the front panel, next available stitch into the back panel, and single crochet. And keep doing this all the way down. When you reach the end, do a chain up one and cut. Alright, now that we have seamed our sleeve, we're now going to work on the cuff. So I'm going to grab my same yarn, insert it onto my hook, and my hook is inserted into any one of our side rows. Insert my yarn onto my hook, pull through, do a chain up a one. And from here, we're just going to be putting one single crochet into every side row. So this is my first side row right here. I'm going to insert my hook and single crochet once. This is my next side row. I'm going to insert my hook and single crochet once. I'm going to keep doing this all the way around. Now that we have single crocheted all the way around, we're now going to make a chain the length that we want our cuff to be. I want mine to be about 2 inches or 8 centimeters, so I'm going to make a chain of 8. Now that I have my cuff, I'm going to block off that last chain to a chain of a 1. Into that chain that we blocked off, or the second chain from our hook, insert with a slip stitch, and put one slip stitch into every chain. Now that we have slip stitched into every chain, we're now going to slip stitch into the next stitch into the base. So into that next available stitch, insert your hook, pull through everything to close off this first row, and then to work our way up to the next row, slip stitch into that next stitch, flip our work, and then we're going to put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. And when we make our way to the end, do a chain up of one, flip our work, and then put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch, connecting into the base the same way that we just did. And I'll meet you back after we have repeated those two rows, where we don't have any more stitches left so that we can seam our cuff. And now that we've made our way all the way around with our cuff, we're now going to seam it with an outside loop slip stitch seam, just like how we did for our collar. So let's get that started. I'm going to insert my hook into the front panel's first available stitch, making sure I'm inserting into that front loop or the loop that's closest to us. And also, into the back panel's next available stitch, making sure we're going into that back loop. I'm going to yarn over, pull through everything, and let's do one more. Into the next available stitch into the front panel, insert into that front loop, and then next available stitch into the back panel, insert into that back loop, yarn over, and pull through everything. We're going to keep doing this until we don't have any more stitches left. Do a chain up one and cut, and then do everything that we did for the sleeve and cuff on the other side. Now that we have done both sleeves, we're now going to single crochet along the bottom just to clean it up, and then we'll be all done. So we're going to start off by inserting our hook into any one of our side rows, insert our yarn onto our hook, pull through, and do a chain up of one. And from here, we're going to be putting two single crochets into every side extended half double crochet row, and then one single crochet into every side single crochet row. So insert your hook into that first side half double crochet with one, and then with two. And then into this side single crochet, one single crochet. Let's do this set one more time. Insert your hook into this next side extended half double crochet with two single crochets, and then this side single crochet row with one single crochet. And keep doing this going all the way around. Slip stitch into that chain up of one space, cut, and then I'll meet you back. All right, and now that we have finished going in with both of our sleeves, we are actually all done. The last thing that we're gonna have to do is weave in all of our ends. Our ends are woven in and our sweater is all finished. I love how easy this top was to make. I can already imagine you guys making it in all sorts of colors, and I can't wait to see it all, so don't forget to tag us on Instagram so we can show you guys to our highlights. There is a written pattern down below. Use offer code TCDDIY for a discount off any $9.99 plus order. Enter this week's pattern giveaway by telling us where you're from. Good luck to everyone who enters. Also, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up, because believe it or not, it actually helps. And be sure to share us on Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, and Facebook. Those links are down below. 
Link to our Etsy page is down there too if you want to buy this piece or any other piece on the channel. And be sure to favorite the shop so you don't miss out on new patterns and exclusive deals. As always guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see y'all in the next one.